everyone, this is Melissa from StampWithMelissa.com here. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Minnesota, which is in the United States. And today I have a little bit of a different video for you because I'm going to share with you, I believe it's over 40 card samples, which is amazing. And all of these cards are using product from the brand new annual catalog. So I participated in a card swap where I made 40 of the same, well, four sets of 10 cards that were all the same and sent them out to an organizer and she sent me back 40 different cards. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So this one is by Kathy Peck, super cute. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on these, um, but if you want to see anything up close, please let me know, because I'd be happy to take some pictures. This one does not have a name with it, so I don't know who made this card, but it's beautiful nonetheless. I love that cute bird. Okay, this one's really cool. This one doesn't have a name either, um, but that's the cute mermaid from the Pirates and Mermaids set. And this is our new dots embossing folder there, so that's pretty awesome too. Okay, here we've got some fun watercolor shapes. This is by Lori Skinner. So I love how she cut those out, made them diamonds. That's super fun. Okay, this next one is by Jackie Lawrence, and it's so cute. Just a cute little baby card. Um, adorable. So adorable. Okay, the next one here is from Donna McDaniel, and this is gorgeous. Um, at the time I'm filming this, this uh, DSP is currently out of stock. Um, it's anticipated to come back in the week that this posts live, but um, I love it. It's so cute, and I love how she made it look like a present with the way she did that bow there. All right, next up we have a card by Diane Lethbridge. Super adorable using the peaches. So, so cute. And I love her incorporation of several different designer series papers there. Okay, now we've got one from Luli Gonzalez. And I think this one's so cool. She used the new cheetah print um, background here. So awesome. I love that. So cute. Okay, now I've got one here from Stacy Lisk. And isn't that cute too? I love this basket and the way she added kind of a tabletop with that wood grain there. Super adorable. I love these cards. Okay, so that was all one set. I'm going to go ahead and get out another bag. Here we go. All right, I've got another bag out. So this is by Mickey Sewell. This is gorgeous. So she used Beauty of the Earth for these tree images and then she used the inspired thoughts there. And I love that this tailored tag punch here, she cut it so there's a, an evening evergreen behind it and she cut it in half and kind of scooted it over to give it a frame. That's so cool. All right, this next one here is by Tina Munsky. Um, this one is so cool. I love that. And she used my favorite matte black dots. Super, super cute. Okay, you guys. Here comes Party Puffins. Um, this card doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know who made this card, but it's so cute. I love those puffins. Uh, okay, so this one is by Tiffany Williams Hart, and I love what she did with this DSP here, how she cut it into strips to give it just some added like um, focus there. I think that's so cool on what she did with that. So, And she's got the black organdy ribbon back here too, so super, super cute. This one doesn't have a name either, but I love this one. Um, just a simple card base and then some DSP and some punched flowers and a sentiment. Perfect. Done. So super cute. Great idea for some DSP scraps. All right. This next one is by Becky O'Donnell um, and it's gorgeous. I love the pale papaya color that she used in here with the butterflies and that Parisian embossing folder is cute too. All right, this one does not have a name, but I think it's so cute, and I love how she put the rhinestones on each of the scalloped pieces there. That's so cool. This next one is by Jolene Jacobs. Um, I really think that's so cute. She put the birds in there, and then she used some of our new um, flower, loose flower embellishments to put on the bush, which I think is really clever. Okay, here comes another Party Puffins. This one is by Heather Robinson. And it's so cute. I love it. I love all the coloring she did on that too. Um, and it looks like she used her blends to color in the rhinestones to get them to be different colors. So that's super awesome. All right. So this one is also by Becky O'Donnell. And I love this paper she used here. So shiny. So cute. This next one um, does not have a name on it. But this uses that... Um, oh, what is it called now? I'm The artistic 
Expressions in Ink. I think it's called Expressions in Ink. Um, and some of the Gilded Leafing, which looks really nice with that DSP. Okay, this next one is so cute. This is by Melanie Kulig. And she used the What's Cooking bundle for this one. So you can see it in there. And she made it a cute little apron. And she used the basic border size. That's so adorable. So definitely one I'll have to case. All right, this is another one by Tina Munsky with the peaches. I think, again, she did such a great job with that DSP. I love how she layered this up on this um, scalloped piece here. So, so cute. Okay, this next one is by Lana Clements. And it's so cute. And look at that glitter. Glitter, glitter. So this is super, super cute. This stamp set was um, uh, turned off for a little bit while they fixed an issue with it, but it's back on now. So if you like this Bunches of Fun stamp set, it's back. So um, that's exciting news, but that's so cute and I love the bright colors. This next one is by, it just says Pauline. So I don't know Pauline's last name, but this is by Pauline. Um, and I think that's so cool how she put that gold paper behind that seahorse there. That's really neat. Okay, so this next one is by Kara Padgery, I think is how, or yeah, Padgery is how I think you say it. Um, and look at how cool that is with the uh, Stellar Birthday set. And she used some of those epoxy droplets too. So super, super cool. This one does not have a name, but a beautiful hello card there. I love that the focus is mainly on the DSP. That's a great way to use up some of your DSP. All right, and the last one in this group is by Anne Marie Turner, and it is stunning. Can you guys see the, it like, all of this kind of shines? It's just so beautiful. So um, that's that bag. I have one more bag to show you, so let me open that up and we'll dive in. All right, we're starting off with this cute pansy one by Becky O'Donnell. So, so cute. I love that she flipped the DSP so you could see both sides. Um, this one is by Anne Marie Turner. And it includes one of our cute butterflies from the Butterfly Brilliance. I love that. I love the matting she did, how she did that with black. It really makes those colors pop. All right, here comes a Party Puffins by Anne Quatrin. So cute. And she used some Wink of Stella on the hat and on the cake. So, so cute. Okay, next up we've got another one from Tina Munsky. And she used two of these contours dies, two of the different ones there, to kind of create a frame around that. And I love this ribbon up here and of course that DSP. Okay, this one does not have a name, but this is another awesome one for using up some DSP. So it looks like this demonstrator just kind of cut two different patterns and then put a cool um, sentiment on here. And she did the same thing with the tailored tag where she cut it this way and then created a frame out of that. So I think that looks really neat. All right, this one doesn't have a name either, but she used one of those square doilies in the background of that flower. It looks super good. Okay, this one is by Tiffany Williams Hart, and she used that elegant bundle, and this card is so elegant. That's, it's amazing. I love that gold in there. It's so shiny. All right, whoops, I grabbed two. This one is by Diane Lethbridge, and I love those colors together. I believe that's garden green and pale papaya. So super pretty there. And the last card here is by Tammy DeWitt, and I think that looks so sharp with that bronze paper and the the bronze embossing and the um, champagne rhinestones on the dark blue. That looks so, so good. All right, and then as I mentioned earlier, I actually made four different cards for this swap. And so these are the four cards that I made um, for the swap. And I love how they turned out. I believe all of them have now been on my blog. I think this one went up yesterday, um, if you're watching this the day it's posted. And I loved making all of these. So I made, I think it was actually 11 of each. So the organizer of the swap keeps one and then we swap it out to get a whole bunch of other cards. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you found some good inspiration with these card samples today and found some new things you would like to try. I know I sure did um, and I hope you enjoyed that. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to purchase any products from my online store and you live in the US, um, I thank you in advance for your business. But if you'd like to purchase any of the product that you see in these cards or in the cards that I showed previously and you need help with names or anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and if you don't already have an annual catalog, I'd be happy to mail you one if you're in the U.S. So just let me know that you need one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.